This is a DIY video showing you how to remove the ECUs from an F9X M5 or M8. So if you've got one and you want to get the ECUs out to send them off and get them unlocked, this is how you do it. So let's get these ECUs out of the car. But before I start, it's very important to remember that once the ECUs are out, you're not gonna be able to move the car. So make sure it's in a place that you don't mind leaving it until you get your ECUs back. So with the car secure in a safe place, the first thing to do is disconnect the battery in the boot. Now you may need a trim tool to hook underneath the carpet to pull the carpet up as it is quite difficult to raise, there's no pull tab. And then you disconnect the battery with a 10 mil socket. So the next step is opening the bonnet and removing these two covers to access the ECUs. Your bank one is under there and bank two is under this one. You just pop the covers off, place them to the side. You don't have to remove the engine cover, but I'm going to remove it now just to give you a bit more of a view of what I'm doing. Now, before you remove the ECUs, it's a good idea to take some pictures so that you have something to refer back to when you're reinstalling all of the plugs. Just push the tab in, fold the lever down, and pull the wire out of the way. With all the plugs disconnected, the next thing to do is take this plastic casing off. You've got these little slots all the way around, which have got a tab in it. You just put the screwdriver in and pop them out. With all the wiring and the plastic case removed, the ECU is now ready to pull out. With bank two removed, we can now move on to bank one, which is a very similar process, except you also have to unplug this wire here. And there is a wire down there that we unplug that I will show you when we get to it. Uh, this is the final plug here that we remove. You don't actually unplug it from here. You unclip it from the casing. So if you get a straight pick, pop it in there, put a bit of pressure and pull it up. With this cover to the side, we can now slide the ECU out. So with both ECUs removed, it is important not to get them mixed up because they are specific to each bank. So it's a good idea to put some masking tape on each one and just put some details on there. We will need the VIN of the car, the customer's name and the options that are going into the map. At this point, if you want to, you can reconnect the battery on the car, which allows you to close the boot and lock all the doors. If you've got an M8, this also allows you to close the door because the window will then function. It is also a good idea to put a trickle charger on the car if you have one to stop the battery from dying while the ECUs are out. So with all that done, it is time to package up the ECUs safely and ship them off to get them unlocked. So the ECUs are unlocked and we've got them back from Femto. It's now time to get them into the car. If you did reconnect your battery, now is a good time to disconnect it so that you can plug it back in safely. Fitting the ECUs in is essentially the reverse order of taking them out. So it's fairly straightforward. You just have to be careful while you're doing it. The one thing to be careful of when you're plugging the ECUs back in is obviously remembering the order they were taken out. So it's a good point to revert back to the pitch you took previously. And also when clipping the plugs in, they will only go in one way. And it is easy to bend the pins sometimes if you're quite forceful with putting it in. So it won't take a lot of force to put the plug in. You should be able to just slot it in gently and clip it over and then it's back in. There you go. So with the ECUs back in under the bonnet and the battery reconnected, it's a good idea to start the car, make sure the car runs okay and that there's not any issues with the installation. Once you've done that, it's time to tune the car. So connect your Windows-based laptop with the OBD and Enet cable and open up the Femto software that we've sent you. Your screen will look like this and you will have to click ZGW detect at the top 
then hold control and shift and click identify. It's very important that you do this as you may end up losing the unlock function if you don't do that step, it may be deleted. It'll say perform force right, you are about to activate force mode, so on and so on. Click yes and it's now identified the car and brought up the ECU VIN. Once you've done that, then you click right tune, locate the file for your car. And with the file opened, you can see on the Femto screen there that it is now loading in. Now the car will make some noises, it'll bong and it'll bring up drivetrain fault on the dash and all kinds of, it's doing it now in the background, it'll bring up all kinds of faults and all kinds of issues. That is completely normal, it's just where the files are loading through each module in the car and into the ECU. So don't worry about that, that's all okay. Then you get the little window pop up here that says task completed, please check log window, click OK and it is saying that it is done. So then it is next moving on to the second DME, if it's a M5, which has two DMEs like this one, click DME secondary. And again, same process, very important, control and shift, and then identify. You get the, issue, the warning again, click yes, and then it'll identify ECU2. Then same process, click right tune, select the file, open and it's now loading into ECU2. Again, you will get loads of noises and faults on the dash and things pinging up that you don't have to worry about. With both of the ECUs now flashed, you need to put the car to sleep for 10 minutes. To do this, you have to remove the laptop and cable, turn the ignition off, close all doors, windows, boot and bonnet and lock the car. Take the keys away from the car and leave it to sleep for the 10 minute duration. After this 10 minutes, you can now unlock the car and it is time to start the car. So now that the car has started, you may notice you've got an engine management light on the dash. This doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does. If it does, this is very normal. All you need to do is plug the laptop back in, go back into Femto and do the same process to identify the car. ZGW detect. Control, shift and identify, click yes. And once the car has been identified, you just click clear errors. And then Femto will tell you that it's done. Once this is done, you can start the car again and check that the engine management light is gone. Which it has. So that is the process complete. The ECUs are unlocked and your car is now tuned. All that's left for you to do is to enjoy it. I hope this video has been informative for you and it's helped you through the process. As well as unlocking the ECUs and tuning them, we also stock a wide range of modifications. For example, this car has had Eventury intakes, OPF delete and MSS suspension fitted. We can ship those parts all across the world or alternatively, we can fit them here in our workshop if you wanted us to. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. If you want to join the conversation, please drop us a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you. And if you're running out of things to watch, why don't you watch one of these two?